Hey everyone, this is your Minion of the East, and welcome back to the Death Battle Reactions, and this is going to be a good one. This is one that I have been waiting for for many years, since the very first season, or the second season, can't remember which, but it's been many years since I've heard about this. And what an appropriate one for episode 75. This is one they, that I've heard the crew wanting to do for many years, but can never find the time to do it or the right resources. The Power Rangers, this is Megazord, versus Voltron Force. Basically Voltron. But yeah, this has been a concept that's been in the show for a long time. Originally, they were looking for sprites for Voltron to do the battle, but given that their advancements with their animation team, this is the perfect timing that they had to use 3D animation. Not to mention, this had to have taken a lot of analysis to work with. Not only with just the robots, but the five members for each member of the robot they need to pilot it. So this is a basically a 5v5 team up in one giant robot. So a 5v5 disguised as a one-on-one -on -one fight. And all the people that got to, to voice this are amazing. Like... They range from like, except from voice actors across YouTube to famous YouTube celebrities like Matt Pat. They they're all over the place, and even like Andre Black Nerd. Like they got a good cast going on here. But again, this has been a battle I've been wanting to see for a long time ever since I first heard that they were planning to do it. But I just wonder why they never got the chance to do it. But this is a good chance for episode 75 now. To the big topic of who do I think is going to win. That is going to be hard to decide. But again, I've already watched the analysis. So if you want to watch the full episode, I suggest you go to the link in the description box down below to watch the full video on Screw Attack's channel. And then come back to watch the full video and watch the reaction if you want to. So, the full analysis. This is still tough. Hmm. Judging from the analysis, I'd say even teamwork-wise, I think the Power Rangers have a better edge because they have more. They got more team. They got more martial arts and availability since the Megazord can copy their movements. So they got what they have a much better team up. Voltron, I think, has got the much better arsenal and the feats to back it up, considering what he can do. But he's got more weaknesses in the robot. And I remember to... And keep in mind, I have also watched both shows when I was a kid. I've watched the original Power Rangers and I've watched the original Voltron. Though, granted, I haven't watched the original Voltron in many, many years. I still remember most of the concepts that came from the show. I don't think they all have much of a team-up, but they, I think they have more combat experience considering that the majority of them are all like adults at this point while the Power Rangers are all teenagers. They don't have that much combat experience to work out with them. So the, so the pilots for Voltron may have more experience except for one which is the princess I think since she joined like very early on when one of their members got killed off. So that might not be work well with, team, with the team together. So that could be the thing. The Megazord uh, may, maybe, but since the thing runs on solar power, they, not to mention, it has been defeated before, plus when it did get defeated, it only, they only came back later, once it got upgraded. So, it had to have gotten upgraded to take on future enemies at this point, but... So it might show its weakness. Voltron was able to take down much tougher opponents and able to like defeat a space satellite or station, whatever it was, within a single slice. And considering their the level of the, the power of their opponents are, I think I may have to give this to Voltron. I think they have the much better combat experience and the much better arsenal and feats to back them up. We'll, we'll see what happens. So... Without further ado, let's begin. Three, two, one. Oh damn! This scanners on, team. 
Seems yeah. the prehistoric activity originates hey, here. Hey, Matt, Pat. Finally, if I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. <laughs> Quiet, Matt. Okay. I'm picking up some. I do like the. Oh, here come the Rangers. Power Rangers. Okay, I like the look of the. Hello. The Voltron Get lions. But the human huh? models look What's a bit happening? odd. I think I found the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, Rangers, plug off! Zach here, this is Kicking. This is Billy, all systems go! <laughs> God, the dialogue is so cheesy for Power Rangers. Let's tame these kids. <laughs> oh boy. There we go! They're all forming the robots. Oh, they're doing it side by side. Nice. There we go. Ooh, boy. Oh, God. Yeah, the Megazord is, of course, much taller. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah! Woo wee! Yeah! Yep! There we go! The Megazord is supposed to bulky. But I think it's got maybe a better defense. And Voltron's more agile. <laughs> yep! There goes this mammoth shield! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Go grab it! Nice! Come on, Voltron, get your sword! There we go! This should be a bit of an even ground. But the Megazord's got a shield. Um, isn't this usually the part where we win? <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> God, I'm shaking all over from this fight. Oh, there goes the sword! Better go grab it! Ooh! Oh, <laughs> pushing them! Woo! Nice! Come on! Oh! Oh my god, this fight's so close! Oh my god! But how much longer can those joints last? Oh, frozen! Yep, is he gonna uh, get rid of the joint? Oh, nope! Other joint. Oh! Crazy! <laughs> Quick, grab it! Rocket arm! Oh yeah, everything! Just, just cover him! <laughs> Come on, bitch! You grab the sword! Quick! Redirect the energy! It's too much! They're too overwhelmed from multiple fronts. And... Yeah! Nice finish! KO! Now that's what I call a battle! There's a good reason why Voltron is the defender of the universe. <laughs> While the Megazord boasted excellent abilities in hand-to-hand -hand and sword combat, Voltron couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Yep. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's blazing speed. I mean, Voltron travels between galaxies in a matter of hours. Yeah. The Megazord once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons 133 feet into the air. 
In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Despite Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Oh, you, Plus, Voltron yeah. Voltron really had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. Mm -hmm. The Mega Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself, which means the comet could output forces of over 13 sextillion newtons. <sighs> the Megazord oh, couldn't survive oh. anything close to that level of power. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded their mech to the Thunder Megazord, which is specifically stated to be more powerful than the original yep. Megazord in every way. That's what I thought. The new Zords will serve you well. Once mastered, your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this new Megazord fought against a giant Zord called Serpentera, which at full power could destroy planets, a single blast from it easily tore the Thunder Megazord apart. And that blast didn't even use half of Serpentera's power. Voltron outclassed the Megazord in almost every way that counts, yeah. including strength, speed, and durability. Trust me, I'm not lying. The winner. Oh is God! Voltron. That was awesome. Don't go away. We're about to reveal who's fighting in the next episode. And if you want to see behind-the-scenes hey. commentary on this episode, then just click that box and start a 30-day free trial for a first membership. Thanks, guys. Next time on Death Battle, Natsu uh, versus. Portska's D Ace. <laughs> my brothers are gonna love that. Oh my god. My brothers are so gonna debate on that. That was a fun death battle. I ain't lying either, and no pun intended. That was awesome. That has got to be, in my opinion, one of the best animated death battles I have seen the show done in a long time. That was so good. The effort in that animation and choreography was thrilling, pumping, and so action-packed. My only main complaint is that while they did get a bunch of voice actors, I only saw like three or four of them get like major lines and everyone else was just accompaniment. I would love to hear more, but then again... It's a still a good cast that they got, and oh my god, I just love that. I, I'm serious when I'm saying I my body was shaking from watching that fight. I loved every second of it. To the Death Battle team, excellent job. I loved it. One of your best yet. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And with that said, this has been your Man to East. So, until next time, everyone, take care.